last time on Beauty Vlogger Boot Camp. Congratulations, you two are our finalists for Boot Camp. Are you excited? Yes. This is a big deal. Like one of you two are gonna be the winner. You're gonna win the whole prize. Hey guys, welcome to my place. Come on in. I wanted to show you kind of my life outside of the whole competition. So my room is kind of small, but thank goodness for my walk-in closet. And I actually just got an email earlier this morning from Ellen Blair saying that I had to meet up with their friend, Shanene? Can I call you Re? Re? It's fun. And today. Hey everybody, welcome to my apartment. It has been super crazy getting ready for my final vlog. I just got an email from Ellen Blair and they want me to meet up with their friend, Shanene. I want to hate you, but I don't yet. 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 Ten aspiring vloggers go head to head in the ultimate fashion and beauty battle. Only one will become the next online style guru. The winner will get an amazing clothing and accessories stash from JustFab.com, makeup from Derm Store, a cash prize, and their own series on You Look Hot. Being beautiful isn't always pretty. This is Beauty Vlogger Boot Camp. Hey everybody, welcome to my apartment. It has been super crazy getting ready for my final vlog, but I'm really excited that you're here. You can get to know me a little bit better inside of my element, inside of my space, see where my inspiration comes from and where I live, most importantly, right? I've been living here for just over a year now with my roommate, and this has been a long process. We painted the walls ourselves, we built a lot of the furniture, and for summer, added little hints of yellow on the walls, little lanterns over there, and the flowers, which I love. This is my living room. I spend a lot of time in here, but let's get to the important part, which is the closets. That definitely took me the longest to accumulate, and let me just tell you, I'm a little bit of a hoarder. First off, we have my dresses. I have to say my most recent favorite purchase would be this really cute green summery Betsy Johnson dress. Unfortunately, Betsy Johnson is going out of business, but I got this for 75% off, so I'm totally okay with that. Up here we have my purses. When I shop for purses, I don't necessarily shop for a season. I want something that I can have all year round and that will be good for years upon end. This one's one of my favorites. It's a Dolce & Gabbana leopard print leather bag and I've had it for almost five years and I still love it, take care of it, cherish it. Moving on to the tops. Yes, just tops. I guess I kind of go from sleeveless to partially sleeved. I've got all different types of blazers down here. I love, love, love blazers. I love this sequin blazer. I stole this one from my mother, my favorite style guru ever. Really cute gold sequins, shoulder pads. Thank you very much. Also love this really cute oversized blazer by Rachel Zoe with the ivory uh, matte sequins, one of my favorites. Then I have my clutch stash. You can never have too many. I have a little fun with them. I actually have the clutch from my lookbook episode. I ended up going back to the boutique and buying it because I really like it and I'm pretty sure this material is gonna be coming back. And accessories, my favorite on the go. I change my accessories more than my outfit, believe it or not. Bangles, statement rings, cocktail rings, and even more bangles, a couple of watches in there, and of course, lots and lots of necklaces. So this is my shoe closet. The way I organize it is I have my pretty crazy shoes up top, goes down to blacks, neutrals, kind of like the sexy you can wear with any color shoes, and then I've been hoarding these for a while now, but they came back. We've got the neons and the pointy toes and the colors and then the bottom is where I have like my summer shoes and wedges. I love these Valentinos which I got for Valentine's Day from my mom this past year and crazy enough there is like this tiny little like you can't even see it print on this side and we got them 75% off just because of that tiny little defect. So. Note to self, if you see anything wrong with it, ask for a discount, they might give you one. And it is a two-sided closet, so believe it or not, there are more. Back here is where I keep the items that I don't really wear as much. And then I also have my very high-end favorite dresses back here. My 
favorite, 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 most valuable item that I have is this Hervé Leger by Max Azura bandage dress. It has this beautiful gold detail that makes it look as if the dress is just painted on your body. As you can see, we are in my bathroom, which is where all of the beauty happens. These are some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. I have this adorable Kat Von D one, Urban Decay Naked 2, and then my little a la carte MAC favorites. And then I also love this smudge sponge from Go Girl Fashion Fixes. Great if you accidentally get some like deodorant or makeup on your shirt. Last but not least, this is my office space. I wanted it to be louder and distinctly different from the rest of my room, so I actually painted the walls completely different colors. I just got an email from Ellen Blair and they want me to meet up with their friend Shanene. I don't know who that is, but I'm very afraid. Maybe I'll be able to Google search before I go, but I need to find an outfit and get ready. I'll see you in a little bit. Welcome to my talk show. What's your name? Giselle. Giselle. It's a very long name. I'm going to shorten it to uh, just G. Okay. Our first challenge is a very important one. Now, when you go on YouTube, a lot of people watch a video and they'll click off in the first 10 seconds. You've lost their attention. Now, get my attention. Tell me who you are and what you stand for. You have 10 seconds to get my attention. Go. I stand for walking tall, being yourself, and feeling beautiful no matter what you're wearing. Interesting. You kept my attention, because you confused <laughs> me. I want to hate you, but I don't yet. 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 Now, I have some pictures of some celebrities, and you're going to look at them and tell me what you would do to their makeup to fix them. So let's start with one of my personal favorites, Nicki Minaj. I love Nicki Minaj, actually. I think there are times when she takes it a little over the top, but I like that she sticks to her guns. I think in this particular picture, she's rocking what she's doing. I love the fake eyelashes. Her makeup is always applied very well and it's different. They picked the perfect spokesperson for MAC. She's the spokesperson for MAC? For Viva Glam, yes, for their AIDS fund, and Ricky Martin as well. She's a spokesperson for AIDS? I'm confused. Wait, <laughs> All of the above, yes. So you wouldn't change anything about this? In this look, no, I actually like it. I think she looks like a disaster, but I love that's it. just me. I love it. You should try this lipstick, actually, Shanene. Are you trying to give me makeup advice? You know Tony from the show? No. He actually put together a vlog with ombre hair. So you could even try instead of... Is that horse hair? No, that's that's a style. It's like a sunset kind of a look in your hair. So like it would look like this part of your hair is dipped rather than like the highlight. Girl, don't dip my hair in nothing! All right. Nasty. I'm just giving a suggestion. I think you look great already. You know, you do your thing. Now our next celebrity, you're going to have trouble being nice to. There's a lot wrong with this one. Lindsay Lohan. Ooh, this one's a tough one. Watch out, girl, she's looking at you. She's giving you the eyes. I know, she's giving me the, are those black eyes? That's like, what I said. I, I really hated this look. It's funny because Girl, like, this is not a look, this is her. That, I know. Seriously, it looks like she left her makeup bag at home. All she had was like eyeshadow in the bottom of her car and just put it on her eyes and her cheeks. She looks like she just got slapped around by like Chris Brown. <gasps> that was edgy. I liked it. <laughs> I was gonna say she looks like a dead person, but then I thought by the time this airs, she might be dead. So I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> Giselle, I'm a big fan of the show, but I'm a fan. But that doesn't mean other people are. There's a lot of haters out there. Now I'm gonna read. But they you still watch. They still watch. They still watch. And well, I'm gonna read you some hate comments about you, and then you respond to the hater directly right there. Okay? Got it. The first hater is XX Pretty R Sun X P X. I mean, really? <laughs> like, damn, that's a name. That's a very long name. She says, I think Giselle hates everyone in this competition. What's wrong with that? I would say that of everyone, I probably hung out with more of the castmates since we've been in the studio, believe it or not. We actually made friends. <laughs> it's not all drama, it was a lot of fun. I was really in it to win it. I was super focused and I got really quiet and shy. Like, it's hard having cameras in your face all the time. Like, that's not normal. Like, Trust I don't know me. how the Kardashians do it. 
And, you know, I would get like really quiet and like in the corner and just kind of like look at people. But it was because I was nervous. Well, that's good. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with hating everybody. I don't see anything wrong with haters. Let them be your motivators. Are you a rapper? No, I think it's a cliche. Oh. <laughs> let them be your motivators. Haters, haters, let them be your motivators. There you go. I'll do the dance moves. I got this. <laughs> Now this is our final challenge, the most important challenge of the day. I need you to tell me in just a few sentences why I and the world should subscribe to Giselle. I live, breathe, I guess eat sometimes beauty and fashion. I have like burns and like different colors all over my body from like trying every little tip and trick in the book. And I use things beyond their intended purpose. And I'm social media savvy. I want to be able to connect with all of you guys. I read Twitter, those blogs, the comments, everything. And so hopefully that's something that I could bring onto my show if I win. So are you saying if you won, you would be, you know, socially savvy with me? Like we could be friends, like we could be besties, like we could be Girl, homegirls? girls. you could be on my show. Give you a summer makeover. Maybe try some pink on your lips. You trying to say I need a makeover, Giselle? Because we was friends up until right now. <laughs> No, everyone needs a little different style, so I could bring you something, you could bring me something. Are you trying to do a drug deal right now? <laughs> this is done, I am done. Thank you, America, for watching. I'm just kidding, girl, I'll be there. Okay. Well, that is all the questions, and you did a pretty okay, not so great job. Oh, it was so much fun. come on, I, I told you you could be on my show if I win. But you said you were gonna text me and you never did. We haven't even left the studio yet I don't today. care, real friends text. <laughs> Give me a hug. You better call me. If you don't call me, I swear to God, I will find you and I will kill you. I will burn your hair, I will steal it. I think Giselle has a lot to look forward to in life. I think she's gonna be a really good waitress at a Mexican restaurant. And she might win Beauty Vlogger Boot Camp. We'll see. But I think she needs to be quiet sometimes. She talks a lot, very loudly, and about things that I don't understand. But maybe she's teaching me. Maybe I'm learning. Maybe Giselle should win. Now I don't know. Now she should be a waitress. Next week on Beauty Vlogger Boot Camp. Claire doesn't know what phrases mean. We got it going. It's on. It's on. It's on. All, right. All that glitters. You got a friend in me. Don't put that in.